Hello guys, this is Arthur. Uh, so welcome to the uh, to the tutorial where we use Thunder Plan. So uh, this is a very very good solution, which is an alternative of uh, Postman. So why why I don't like to use Postman because you are writing your code and everything here and um, in VS Code, and again you will switch to altogether another application where you will put all the details and access the API. So this is uh, kind of little. Uh, you know, um, uh, difficult, or you can say, it'll uh, not that easy to switch uh, again. Do all the things right. So what uh, we can do here is we can use this very good uh, application, which is a plugin here. So just search here under client, sorry, under client. So you will be redirected to this. And you can click on this install. Once it is installed, you can just open the client. Okay. So this is the documentation that Thunder Client gives. You can go through this, and uh, this is also giving how you can use Thunder Client and all. So basically, once you install, you will see there is a icon here, Thunder Client icon. You can click on this one. So once you will click on this one, you will can uh, click on the new request. Okay, so let's say let's create a new request. So here you can put your API URL. So I am just using a API an API URL from this. It's a free tool where you can use. So I am just using this API. It is in get API. So basically, it is having all the features that you have. So you can store this. Uh, you can even say you can do is you can just come and uh, click on send, and then you will get the output here. You can see the output right response, and you can put all these things like all these auth token. If you have a weird token, a basic authentication token, you can if you have some uh, more headers, you can put those things. If you have a post request, you can put uh, put your body like adjacent. So all those things which you are using in Postman are available here, so you can uh, directly use it and you can get a benefit out of it. So here, once you fit it, you will it will it will ask you to say uh, you can have an option to save to the collection. If you want to save it, you can save it. Give a name like uh, API. Okay, then uh, put the collection name. Like get uh, new, or you can have a new name here. So I can put a name like test API is a collection inside that. Uh, this random API is one API. Okay, and then just close it. Okay. Now close it and I'll see there is a in the under collection you'll get this API okay so that you can use later. Okay, so this is how under plant works. It's I think it's a very good alternative to postman. So check it out guys.